The Zurich's V-Port ball valve is designed to provide superior performance combined with ease of maintenance. The Zurich V-Port ball valves feature the simplest maintenance procedures among control valves available. Available seat options include reinforced PTFE, flexible metal, rigid seat, and clearance. With all four seat types, the seat retainer and trim components drop in place, ensuring precise alignment of plug and seat. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to replace the seat in a Zurich V-Port ball valve. To replace the seat, use a standard hex wrench to remove the two seat ring retainer screws, which are located outside of the valve body, away from the process media. Pull the non-threaded seat retainer out of the valve body. The Zurich's V-Port ball valve seat retainer does not have any threaded components that are exposed to the process media. The internal trim does not need to be removed to replace the seat. No special tools are required. The loading of the seat against the ball is controlled by the dimensions of the seat retainer and valve body cavity. The dimensions on the back side of the seat retainer and at the end of the seat retainer are machined to a tight tolerance. The dimension of the mating service on the valve body and the shoulder in the valve body cavity that accepts the seat are machined to a tight tolerance. The tolerance of these two components provides the design load of the seat against the ball. When replacing the seat, the segmented ball can remain in the body, preferably in the open position to provide easier access to the seat. Remove the seat and any gaskets from the valve body cavity. The Zurich VPB is available with four seat options and all bodies will dimensionally accept all seat options. The reinforced PTFE seat is designed for clean service when tight shutoff ANSI Class 6 is required. The flex metal seat is designed primarily to shear fibrous slurries and provides ANSI Class 4 shutoff. The rigid seat is designed for abrasive applications, including reclaimed fiber and applications with suspended solids. The rigid seat provides ANSI Class 4 shutoff. The clearance seat is designed for maximum control in applications that do not require tight shutoff. To replace the seat, rotate the ball to the closed position. Drop in the seat with any required gaskets. The inside diameter of the valve body cavity is slightly larger than the outside diameter of the seat. This design tolerance allows the seat to self-align with the ball. Insert the seat retainer in the body and tighten the two external seat retainer screws with a standard hex wrench. The seat retainer screws need to be tightened just enough to hold the retainer in place. It is not necessary to use feeler gauges or a flashlight to check the loading of the seat against the ball. Final compression of the seat retainer to the valve body is achieved when the valve is mounted in the pipeline. When installed in the pipeline, the pipe flange compresses the seat retainer against the valve body to provide the required loading of the seat against the ball. No shims are required. With all brands of V-Port ball valves, alignment and loading of the seat against the ball is critical to provide the proper shutoff capability and to minimize friction that can increase the force required to operate the valve. Increased operating force can significantly degrade control valve performance and reduce valve life. Zurich's V-Port ball valve with its non-threaded seat retainer, drop-in-place self-aligning seat, and controlled seat compression minimizes the required valve operating force, providing superior control and ease of maintenance.